The crop we've got behind us is oilseed rape, which is crushed for oil. Now, as you can see, one of the problems is, is making sure this crop establishes because it's grown from a very small seed and as a cotyledon, it is uniquely vulnerable to a little insect called the cabbage stem flea beetle. This is a poor rape plant that actually managed to survive. As you can see, it's taking 20 meters up the field, completely out. And this re reseeded this part. The relentless pressure of flea beetle was too much for the poor plant. The crop disappeared completely. We were really pleased when we got the seed dressings, that the neonicotinoid seed dressings that everybody heard about so much, because they were a really useful step for us in being able to control the problem when the crop was at its most vulnerable without us having to spray the crop overall. And to, to us, that was a key part of IPM precision application of a product to control a known pest um, and sadly we lost it. The alternative is now we have to end up with a two, three spray program to control the same insect. What I find deeply frustrating is we have hives on the farm and our beekeeper has always been perfectly happy at having his hives on the farm when we were using the neonic dressings. In fact, he'd rather we use that than the overall sprays. Uh, it, it goes to show the misunderstanding that there is out there. 